Hello guys, Sony here, and today I wanted to make a video to start a new series of meta-analysis videos. So today we'll talk about Tenta missiles, and I wanted to clearly explain my thoughts on them. Even after version 3.2 changes, it doesn't really change. So after releasing my chose video, I saw an insane amount of comments saying Tenta missiles are not bad, they don't belong to the wood special spots, alright. The most important thing people didn't understand is that this list was made specifically for competitive Splatoon and just because people can get kills with missiles at B rank doesn't make them any good if you can't do it at X rank or in competitive. Anyway, my mind hasn't changed at all about 10 time missiles but today I'm going to explain why more deeply. I think it's it's fair that some people were like not understanding why I stated 10 time missiles were bad if I don't explain why. So that's gonna be the goal of this video. Uh, first and foremost to understand why 10 time missiles are bad. Let's try to understand what makes a good special. In any mode you want to use your special to unlock a losing situation or a noble your opponent. There's like no other way to use your special very effectively. A good special is one that will consistently be impactful in the game. So for example, um, using an inkjet always makes your opponent move away from their position and if you are good with it you can claim a few kills with it. Inkjet also paints a lot, applies aggro pressure for around I think 8 seconds it's hard to kill if used from the right positions. It's very rare to use inkjet and not get any value with it. And if it's the case, you probably used it at the wrong time or from a bad location. So as long as you use your specials correctly, you are most likely going to tweak the path of the game in your favor or keep the momentum. But there are two ex exceptions there, and these two exceptions are Tenta Missiles and Splashdown. Their entire impact revolves around your opponents doing mistakes and not you doing a good play. So Splashdown is usually a short range weapon that will go in close combat. The most popular example are Splash Shots, Vanilla Blaster and I think Tetra Duelies. And uh, since version 3.0, Splashdown is mostly gone from competitive outside of Tetra Duelies. The strength of Tetra Duelies is by far the main weapon itself, despite having a very weak kit so it has auto bomb and Splashdown, which is, isn't very crazy on paper. But what makes Splashdown a bad special currently is that most x rank players will tear down your splashdown into pieces mid-air and you won't be able to get anything from it. For example, most top tetra duelie players end up with 0 to 1 splashdown after a 5 minute game because you have more chances to die using your splashdown than rushing down your opponent which is like crazy like basically using your special gives you more chances to die. Alright. Let's go back to my beloved Tenta missiles. So I said all this about Splashdown and Inkjet to make a comparison but also to emphasize how bad missiles are since it's even worse than Splashdown. Tenta missiles don't paint much, they don't apply low pressure, you don't have a guaranteed kill if you have a good aim, you can't influence the duration of the missiles after you shoot. So comparing missiles with Inkjet, we can say Inkjet does everything I mentioned but better. X rank players would never die from Tenta missiles in a situation where you're trying to break through or get control back using your special. I think this comparison is a bit unfair for Tenta missiles because Inkjet is the best. But come on, what does Tenta missiles have to tweak the situation in your favor or keep the momentum? Well, nothing really, but at least in my opinion. You can disturb players away from the tower, but that's pretty much all the value you will get. The biggest issue of this special is the lack of influence you have on its impact compared to a Stingray, a Bowler or an Inkjet. Okay, I guess the Bowler kind of has the same problem of no guaranteed kill, but you can always explode the Bowler. When it fits you, you can deal AoE damage and paint specific areas without having to target a player. And opposed to most common thoughts about Tenta Missiles, you have very few chances to kill a Stingray user at the highest level with them. Alright, so to summarize this video, I think 10 time missiles are bad because every other specials are doing the same thing but better and you can't influence its impact on the game at all. It solely relies on the opponents making mistakes. So yeah, hope I could convince you guys with this video, I also hope I won't get too much messages to tell me 10 time missiles are better than Inkjet now and so on. Honestly, I was so surprised and that's the main reason why I made this video. Keep in mind that if you get a quad with 10 time misses at B rank, it doesn't matter because it won't ever happen at X rank. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. 